Okay, today is the second day episode of the new but the same podcast. What's it called? Minty Jellyfish Tacos. Yeah. Which is kind of a stupid name. Michael decided that he should be a dictator, even though he's not. Michael was like, oh, I'm just going to do it my thing and reject every single offer Peter and John say. Your offers were lame. No, they weren't. You yeah, just liked that one better. Okay, and yeah. You were in control of the podcast. You well, you like, you guys don't want to do it, so yes, I am in control. No, I'm fine with it. You just don't accept any of my ideas. That's because your ideas are like, give me five million euros. <laughs> it's better than your ideas. You just, I don't have an idea. We need to come up with an idea. Anyway. Today, <clears throat> what we will talk about will be what we are doing to, um, while we're unable to do anything else because of the coronavirus, the plague. Uh, it's not really the plague, it's more just like a, the flu. What are you doing, Peter? What am I doing? Yes. Playing Jedi Fallen Order and Baldur's Gate on the Switch. How far do you get in Baldur's Gate? Uh, I'm into Baldur's Gate, so mm. I'm like three, three fourths, three thirds. Well, there's a lot Probably of stuff to do in Baldur's not Gate. Not three thirds, two thirds. I'm two three thirds, thirds. Of the way down. Isn't there a lot of stuff to do in Baldur's Gate, though? Like in the physical city? Um, there is. So like, but there's there's. Like, in terms of story, you're two thirds through. In terms of story, I'm two thirds through. In actual content, I might be halfway through. Yeah. I still might be two thirds through because Baldur's Gate isn't actually that much content that you have to explore. Oh, it's, it's much you have like, to do. Yeah. So it's it's very much like Baragos, where you know there's there's a couple main things and there's a couple things that have like a, a magical item, and there's a couple like semi random encounters that like have dialogue and stuff. But mainly, jump. What? Get off um, the switch. No. We're doing the but, podcast. But, but, like, mainly no, it's just a bunch of houses things. with, like, I don't know, two gold in them. Two yeah. gold and a gem. Mm. Two gold and a cursed scroll. Stuff like that. Um, John, what are you doing other than playing like, Untitled Goose Game when we're supposed to be doing a podcast? Keep quiet. Anyway, there's a significant amount of... I'm looking for a toothbrush. There's, there is a lot of stuff in Baldur's Gate, considering that it's the, the one, like, it's, it's supposed to be a singular town, and it does a really good job of making it a singular town. Mainly by doing, by making quests really go through area to area. Like, you can do a couple quests for the Thieves Guild, and they're like, meet me at this bar. Where we're well, while we go steal stuff, so we can go steal stuff. And of course, the bar isn't in the same area as the thieves' guild, but it's in a completely different area. So it 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 does a really good job of making the. Uh, well, it feels the, like a whole city, right? It feels like a whole city. It feels like the entire thing is interconnected. It also does this because... So, in the original Baldur's Gate... In, like... Okay, so this is going into technical lore of the Forgotten Realms. When Baldur's Gate was, was founded, it was just, like, a collection of, like, ships. And, like, it was essentially just a town... And then they were like, hey, we're going to build a wall. And then all the rich people were like, uh, we're going to force out all the poor people outside the wall. And we're just going to live in the wall. But then the dude who made Baldur's Gate, Baldurin, was like, no, I come from poor people. This is not right. 
So he comes back and makes another wall around those people. And now, in the other Baldur's Gate 3, both of those walls have been certainly passed through. And now it's high, high class in the upper wall, low class in the, in the ports and lower wall, and then all the poor people... This is upper, middle, and then lower class. And so it's... This is funny, because nothing happened that Baldur wanted. Though he got turned into a werewolf. So. Yeah. Anyway, John. Yes? What have you been doing in this time of crisis where we can't do anything but stay home? First of all, it's not a crisis. And Second of it's all, been considered a crisis by the government. Which the government is stupid in many situations. All right. Anyway, what are you doing other than playing Untitled Goose Game? Playing Minecraft and other games and trying to get out of work. What other games? Minecraft. I wanted to play Jedi Fallen Order, but... I mean, y you can. You the entire thing with Peter being like, No, I bought it. I mean, that hasn't stopped Michael from playing it. Yeah. I wish he didn't play it, but... There's nothing I can really do to stop him. I'm only playing it because we have, like... We're, we're stuck home, right? If yeah, we weren't stuck yeah. home, I wouldn't be playing it. I would be probably playing... Crusader Kings too. Crusader Kings is bad. But I will say, I'm happy. I'm happy that he's playing something good instead of Crusader Kings. Maybe I should go back to playing Crusader Kings. I don't know if I'll good or bad because I dislike you playing a game that I bought for sixty dollars. That if you that I did not desire. You would wanted to play it. You should. I had no desire to play it, but since we're not doing anything. But it is funner to watch you play it than play Crusader Kings, which is the boringest game to watch. Crusader Kings is one of the better games to watch. No, it isn't. No, it is for me. It's, I, ima I imagine it's quite fun to play because it's, it's, it's civilization. But not everything really. is it's already not set civil, up. It's not civilization. Yeah, but like it's... It's not. Okay, I, yeah, but you, you, you have a civilization and you kind of just do stuff. I imagine it's fun to do all the intrigues and stuff. But for somebody who has roughly no idea what's going on and doesn't care at all, just wants to watch you do cool stuff... It's boring. I've tried to explain it to you, but you've just ignored me. Yeah, like, that's because you go on long, long-winded explanations. Yeah. If I wanted to know how to play the game, I want this does this, this does this, this does this. These all relate to this. This all does this. This is important because it contributes you, you, you to under, winning. You, you, I want to win, not to be stuck in an in infernal. In there is no way. Medi medieval Europe. There, there is no winning in Crusader Kings. Six hundred years. Yeah, yeah, you're stuck in medieval. Hurry up for six hundred years. I want to win. Which is why if you I get like Sim, if you, if you get, I can win. If you get all the DLCs, you can be stuck in Europe for a thousand years, and you can Quiet. play from four hundred to fourteen hundred. We have the worst studios. What did you just say? I said you have the worst enthusiasm. Anyway, um, yeah, I, you you understand that's what I do. I explain to you what's going on in the game. The problem is the game. But is you so always boring. try to try to do all the historical significance. I don't. Well, you used to do that. No, I I don't. I just go. I'm taking these lands so I can do this, so I can do this, so I can get more land. Yeah, and when I when I don't care, it's yeah, like yeah, this podcast. Seems, I don't care. Yeah, oh, I found my toothbrush was in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yes. Completed. Completed so shopping. <laughs> oh, now I have to make people buy their stuff back and make the boy wear the wrong glasses. The problem is the boy is a wuss, and if I ever go near him, he ski he, he runs away. I know. Well, we're getting to the end. John's playing Untitled Goose Game. 
a lot. But you, you also said Minecraft and other games, and then we asked you what other games, and you just said Minecraft. But did I? Y yeah, yes. you you did. I it's explicitly remember. If you really disbelieve us, you can go back and check. But also, yeah. he's uh, playing Pokemon Sword because that's the one we have. Yeah, yeah. I should play. That. I thought we got. Did we get? I thought we got shield. No, we have sword. We have sword because shield the. Legendary Pokemon for Shield looks stupid. Yeah, and Shield is red, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Michael seems to like the fact that Sword is blue. I just prefer blue over red. Well, I mean, yeah, but it doesn't matter. You should always base it on whether or not the Legendary Pokemon. No, you can cool. base it on literally whatever you want. Also, I think the exclusives for Sword are better. What are the exclusives? Um, I don't know, but I think they're better. I think I heard that they were better from Joe. Because Joe, like, actually played through the game and did all the stuff. Well, Joe is kind of Joe. Joe, mama, ha ha ha, no. funny, funny, funny meme, funny, shut up, before I break your phone. Anyway, we don't have to do this podcast every day, but days we don't do it, we have to come up with a different video to record and upload. So... If you don't want to do the podcast, make something else and upload. And then that, that will be it. So I could just post a one There was not a million likes no. on the last video. I will still say 5 million euros. Okay. That's, that's done.